A few days later, after Jehu, Chris, and Michael left the island, we joined forces again, where I actually joined Lysandra on an event that they did, they organized it. Basically, we went to the town of Tawaha, and this event was mostly for the people that have like really low income or no money at all. Some of the stuff that we actually did for them is that we managed to help them with the FEMA paperwork. We have some FEMA co-workers or employees. Some of the guys that joined the effort made some food, like really big piles of asopao. And also uh, with Celeste, Kukas, uh, Jessica, and some other guys, uh, we handed some of the products that we got from Puerto Rico Relief Flight and also some of the products that we managed to to get around the island and from the state and so we donated to them some of these uh, bags. We also had the opportunity to have some medical assistance for the people of Tuabaja. to Ramonitas, right? And when I got there, seeing a bunch of people from the Mount Ararat Church or Church Mount Ararat, something like that, it was mind-blowing. You have to look good. Yet. You have to look good. This is the guy who keeps showing up the bicep every time we record him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like, look. Oh, we got another one. So, what's going on? <laughs> How are they doing? They're doing good. Right now, we're just kind of waiting for yeah. more material right, to come. Um, and then we'll be able to start working on the house for real. So you are Lily, right? Yes. What are you guys doing? Um, I'm making a bracelet representing the what God has done for us. So the red represents the blood shed on the cross. The black is the sins that we have. The white is how he washed us white as snow. The blue represents the water, how we're supposed to go public for baptism. The green represents like grass and trees, how we're going to grow in Christ. And then the yellow is us um, entering heaven. That's so awesome. Thank you so much for that. You want to see fear? Ah! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so today, it's day two, and this, they're still uh, building the house. We have some inconvenience, uh, some issues yesterday, but as you can see, they managed to finish up with the floor. They're now putting the sidings and starting to get ready to finish up this house. So I figure out that I should not just stay here waiting for them to finish. So I'm gonna get my hands dirty today. <clears throat> I'm going into Rambo mode right now and try to help them out as much as I can. So later, probably today, we're gonna be able to turn on the lights on this house it's gonna be awesome guys good morning eric good morning how's it going it's going well do you guys sleep well oh yeah. like like a babe like a babe <laughs> oh yeah that's nice So 
I am right now when the only lady that I saw in the last two days, especially today, that can hit a nail a thousand times <laughs> and, and it, it never moves. And never moves. But it does. But it, it takes a special skill. So really, how do you do that? Really very little at a time. But how do you do that? How, how do you manage to hit a nail? It's all about control. Oh yeah? Yes. Did you watch Karate Kid? Yes. Wax oh, on, wax off. No, yes. well, it, no? it looks like it went to the bathroom with the part that <laughs> it hit the nail once. And that's Only it. once. Now, you that's see? not my motto. Do it as many times as you needed to do it. You will never you get guess. nowhere. You will never guess where she's from. She's from Isabella. No, okay. no, no. Salina. Oh, Salina. Sorry about that. <laughs> So one of the problems that I'm having right now is that I don't have a drone to take like a really nice aerial shot for what's going on over here. So I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying that it would be nice to have a drone, you know, to fly over the, the things that we do. You know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. by his own hands and I thought that was so cool you know like watching your dad build a house it's like Superman for me right but being part of a team of people that actually got to build a house it's just awesome it was supposed to be like a one-day build but it actually we ran into so many issues and probably Pastor Jerry can explain you what happened all right. You guys are awesome, man. Man, God is awesome. Yeah, God is awesome. It's, it's, it's all about him. Yeah. Wow. I would not he argue about that. He provided for this. <laughs> there was no way this was going to happen except the Lord provided in so many ways that it's unbelievable. Really it's amazing. It's amazing. Thank you so much on behalf of what an honor. all the things that we do. It's just because that smile that you have in your face is the same smile she's going to have from now on so thank you so much and uh, i praise god because of that so awesome this is awesome this is awesome, this is awesome. <laughs> so i was not the one that made the house they made the house and they're from where you guys from say it to the camera virginia virginia, virginia. 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 this is eric chelsea caleb jessica Sandra, ramonita we got Margie from Aguadilla. <laughs> Augustine. Tammy. Tamara de Salinas. <laughs> She's the one that hit that same nail a thousand times. <laughs> we got a guy from Puerto Rico. Brandon, Brandon. Todd. Mark. Jeremy. Jerry. Jerry. And Augustine. Augustine. <laughs> That's a little lady right there, Lisandra. Thank you so much. God bless you, yes. Okay, everybody, just go. Get out of the house. Come on. <laughs> Come on, bye. This is what happens when you get together with people that truly love God. They put a smile on that lady. They make a house. And now we're gonna get ready to put some 
solar energy into it. So that's going to be next.